Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, for you guys, we're back here playing Resident Evil 2. This is going to be my first video, I think, on Resident Evil 2. I've done a lot of live streams, but I haven't done videos, not that I know of, at least. Uh, we're going to be doing part one today. There are going to be multiple parts until I beat the game. Uh, since I'm not going to be doing infinite ammo, basically this is um, a walkthrough. I'm going to only be doing it on assisted. Because I want to have aim assist and I want to be able to have enough ammo to shoot down Mr. X without using infinite ammo. So uh, there's that. Basically, so for yesterday, I'm sorry that I missed, um, what's it called? I'm sorry that I missed the second video of yesterday. I forgot about it. And that's my fault entirely. I straight up just forgot it. And since my videos take a while to upload, I'm going to be doing one right now, and I'm going to be doing another one. But I appreciate all the support on my last video. Thank you all so much for that. Alrighty, let's get straight into this, everyone. I'm going to be quiet during the cutscenes, and yeah, we'll do this. Alrighty, so I'm just going to say this right now, I'm sorry for all the background noise, and my... So I'm sorry for my background noise, and for uh, my mic. It's not the best, because it's my uh, headset mic, so yeah, let's keep this uh, video going. Alrighty, now we're gonna get started. Give me one moment to put back on the normal costumes uh, or the normal gameplay outfit just so it uh, basically kind of starts it the way it should be. There you go.
Okay, now what I'm gonna mention is I'm gonna be doing a part on this. Okay, but I'm gonna be doing a part on this and a part on... So basically commentary and no commentary. Now, this is not me trying to get through the game as fast as I possibly can. I'm just trying to do like a full walkthrough. For instance, like I'll be getting the Magnum and stuff that you usually wouldn't be doing if you've already played through the game. So... Like I said, this is like one of those walkthroughs. Since I don't know how long before my recording will shut off, it's gonna be like one of those quick turn on videos for 20 minutes. Not one of those, like, I'm gonna complete in two hours. Yeah. Alrighty, well now that it's playing this, I'm not going to be quiet during this cutscene, basically the credits at the beginning. Um, so here's a few things I'm going to go through for this video. So first of all, like I said, this is intended to be a complete walkthrough. If you have any questions like where's this or that, I'm going to be trying to the best of my abilities to answer them. So let me know in the comments section below this video what kind of questions you have if you have this game and you're like oh i haven't completed it yet um second of all what was i gonna say um i'm gonna be getting every single thing i'm not gonna be doing it like a complete pro i'm just basically gonna be grabbing it as soon as i see it and for boss fights like the birkin boss fight if you've ever seen it i'm not gonna be doing the knife only strategy i'm just gonna be trying it but I'll be shooting like, or I'll put away everything, but grab two knives and grenade, but that's it.
Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here we are. So for this, we're gonna stay to close by the cars. Uh, we gotta go this route. Try and stay away from the zombies. You have a lot of room to move around. This one. This one you don't have to worry about because it doesn't attack you. It takes too long unless you take too long to get past. Now, uh, to move a little bit faster on the stairs, do a quick half a second or quarter of a second aim down slide. Alright, there's I uh, get past him. For these guys, usually you take the right route, but I'm going to take the left since I know the left route better. Now we are going to go here. You can explore if you want around here. But if I remember correctly, there's nothing too much to explore. Like I said, I'm going to be doing it the way I would have done if I hadn't watched any videos. Now I'm going to be going through all the cutscenes I can. At least I know of. Alright, and now usually what you would do is you'll search around here and stuff, but just because, while I did say I am going to be going through and grabbing everything, I'll be grabbing it at a different uh, time, and I'll be exploring when I actually am going to need to be in that certain area, and you'll see why during this video. If my recording shuts off, then I'll start another recording. And yeah. Now I'm gonna be playing this the safe route. So, instead, like I said, since I'm not a, gonna be speed running this or anything, it's gonna be played the safe way. So yeah. Now the safe way will cost you a little bit more bullets, but if you're playing on assisted or standard, you do get a lot more than you. You don't usually get on um, professional or not professional hardcore or something if, you're, if I'm correct is what it's called. I'm also going to be doing a, a Resident Evil 3 then going up that way and then I'll try doing Resident Evil 0 and 1. Now, if you once you get that, it'll explain to you what you want to do. Like I said, safe route, so I'm not gonna be going and just running past them like I usually would. Now I'm gonna be doing some live versions of these uh, of these kinds of gameplay videos. Basically, what I mean by that is once the internet gets better and my streams won't shut down, which I'll do a test stream. So if you see it, it's just going to be testing it out, see if it will shut down. Sometimes two bullets, sometimes four. These guys always gonna go down in one bullet on assisted. Uh, you want to grab that. The reason you need this board is very important. But yeah.
Alrighty, we just got the knife. Very important. You cannot actually get past, get through this game without the knife, so. If magically somehow don't have the knife, then I don't know what to tell you. Other than restart and hope for the best. Now, while we're doing a safe route, I'm going to be putting stuff that I don't need away. And the way I don't need it is... So, like I said, this isn't my first playthrough. This is like my fifth, I think. I don't exactly remember. Um, if you want to save, save at any time. Especially if you're playing on standard. Or assisted, if this is your first playthrough. If it's not your first playthrough, then you should know. Right here, this guy's gonna drop on you. There we go. Um, you're gonna put a place a board right here, otherwise you're gonna have a few zombies blocking your way. And you're gonna put one right there. You'll see why in just a second. There we go. Right here, you'll collect 15 hand... I don't know how many bullets, I'm gonna try and remember. There's a note right there. There's... The map. If you... I'm serious, you really don't need the map unless you're trying to get everything. I'm trying to get everything, but that's the only reason why I picked up the Mac map. If I didn't, if I wasn't trying to get everything, I would have just been like, oh, okay, I don't need the map. Because every playthrough I do on this game, I almost never pick up the map unless I really need it. Now, I don't think these guys are dead. Yeah. This guy's gotta be dead now, yeah. I knew it, this guy isn't. Shit. Now he's dead since he got shot twice. When they get shot, shot twice, they're dead. Or when they do that kind of weird looking stunt twice, they're dead. That's what I meant. Now this is 9, 15, 7 if I'm correct. Okay, 9, 15, 7, you'll get a hip pouch, gives you two extra spaces. Awesome. Another note right there, a note on top of here you have to grab. This is NED, this is Ned, and the other one's MRG. I think it, MRG is like for Marvin something. Alrighty, there. there's two notes, there's like three notes in here or so, so you don't have to worry. I'm gonna go in here quickly, unlock stuff. This is 109 and 106, I think. Or, not 109. Yeah. Yeah, okay, 109 and 106. One oh six will get you a uh, film, and I'll show you where you can use that in a moment. That's all you can get for now. Another note right there, I think. Um, you know, get through here. You want to stick to the right. If you go any farther than the right, you, the zombie's gonna break through that. You go in here. There's gonna be some more items. What you're gonna do here is. Don't craft any ammo. You just want to save it. Now, if I think you can use... Okay, there it is. This isn't a film, this is just showing you. You need that if you're trying to get... Um, the Magnum, which I am going to get just for the sake of this playthrough. Another paper there. This window, immediately block it off just like the others. 
if you're playing on hardcore you will not hardcore or standard you will not get that board that was behind the that was on like the second bench um there's the she's gonna get up so just so you don't have to worry about dealing with her later like you coming through with mr x following behind you okay she's dead fully this is gonna be cap for capcom if i'm correct i don't exactly remember yep capcom You'll get three shotgun shells, another three from here. You open this one. Surprise, surprise. You go right here. There's that. This locker has nothing in it, just to show you. Another note. Now, while we're here, let's solve this real quick. keep forgetting Oh man Dang it, that's so frustrating. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that, I'll solve it in the next video. Um, We'll come up here real quick and we'll grab this more handgun ammo right here. Right here, magnum ammo. I think this is CDP. CDP. Okay. DCM. Oh, I think this is. No, I think this is DCM. Okay, yeah, DCM. This is gonna devil may cry. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, DCM, DCM. What the hell does DCM stand for? It stands for devil may cry. That's another one of Cap Capcom's games. Alrighty, now if you're like me and you uh, grabbed what I told you to grab and left what I told you to leave, you'll be perfectly fine for what I'm about to do. I'm about to grab more hand game right here. Another note, another hip pouch. I have three extra bullets. I'm gonna go right here. You're gonna shoot him down because he is gonna be one hell of a thing to deal with. There we go. He, now he won't get back up. We go through here. There. Alrighty. Now we'll go down here. And what we'll do is if you saw that female zombie what you want to do is you want to take her out right now because she'll be a big mess to deal with when mr. X comes you could just leave her knocked out like that you want to grab that and if I'm correct, you'll have just enough room. Once again, for this one, stick close to the right, and he won't wake up. Okay, I was try. You're gonna reload because there's not like you have a second handgun that you can pick up, so you don't have to worry about like, oh, 
what if I can just grab a second handgun and it's like, oh, it's gonna be more powerful. You, it's not. The only second handgun you can think of is the other one. Now right here, this one is Lion. If I'm correct, this one, and then it's the bird. Yeah, okay. There we go. We'll grab that. And after... Uh, Alrighty, now what we're gonna do before I do what I'm about to do is we're gonna put everything away except for the few things I need that are gonna be crucial. Put away the shotgun ammo, put away this, magnum, that, put away the knife, you don't need that. Now if you're going for the magnum like I am, you're gonna keep these few items. Actually, you'll put that away because you don't need it for now. Alrighty, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.